What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and today I'm going to be showing off to you guys the one command creation for modern weapons by the Redstone Engineer. I don't know if I worded that correctly, but you know, it's all good, it's all good. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to get right into it. Now, basically, all you're gonna need for this is you're going to need one command block, one command block, yes, one command block, and then a button or anything really to activate the command block with. So, the way we're gonna start out here is we're going to, you know, we're gonna take this command block and we're just gonna place it down right there. It's looking all nice and fancy. And then we're going to shift right click the button onto the side. All right, and now what you're gonna go do is you're going to go to the link in the description below. You're going to copy the command and then literally go into here and control V and that will paste that into the, the command block there. So now we're going to click the button and all these command blocks will fall from the sky and this will make a machine and I am lagging, my goodness, all right. Yeah, as you can see here, we have a nice machine going. It's uh, it's giving me a little bit of lag. Just let let's uh, let the world uh, accept what's happened to it here. All right, just look at this beautiful machine. Now, what you can do with this machine is you can you can you know you can give all the uh, items for the recipes, and you can activate and deactivate the mod. So if I wanted to you know deactivate the uh, the mod, you can just right click the sound the sound the sign, and um, yeah, it'll just shut off, and the commands will no longer be active. And it also gives a nice little little message down there. I didn't know that. And then let's go ahead. Let's activate it so I can, you know, keep showing this off to you guys. All right. So yeah, that's how this works. And if you right click this, you'll get all these items I have right here. And yeah. So now it is time to get into the nice, good, juicy part of this. And now we're going to take a look at all the weapons. Now, the first weapon we are going to make is we're going to make sticky bombs. And also, quick little note here. Uh... The way you make these, you don't you don't make these in a crafting table. You basically throw the items on the ground on top of each other, and it will just pop whatever into existence. So, we're going to make a sticky bomb first. So the way you make a sticky bomb is you take five gunpowder and a slime ball, and you throw them on top of each other, and poof, up comes a sticky bomb. Now, this sticky bomb is going to look like a snowball. Um, I think this is because you had to use a snowball function to be able to throw and uh, place a TNT. So yeah, I'm not going to go into like crucial like detail or whatever I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how this works now you all you have to do is you basically right click it and uh, what it will do is when you right click it and it hits an object and spawn this little piece of TNT now this little piece of TNT will show up wherever the snowball hits and uh, sometimes it varies how close to the the actual block it is but you know you know it's all good now all this stuff you know it's, it's all good and, good and stuff but you know you need a special something to be able to use the TNT, to be able to blow up the sticky bombs, you know? So, next we are going to make ourselves a detonator for these guys. So, the way you're going to make the detonator is you're going to take four redstone and plop it on the ground and take a lever and then plop that on the ground and poof, up comes a detonator. And all of a sudden the sticky bombs fall to the ground because that's how the sticky bombs work apparently. What you're going to do is you're going to literally... Take the sticky bombs and you're going to throw it, you know, throw them wherever, maybe throw them by this brown sheep, alright? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the detonator and right click, throw it on the ground. There we go, you throw it on the ground, okay. So you're going to throw the detonator on the ground and everything that you hit with a sticky bomb will be uh, exploded. So, sadly this sheep, this sheep is just, he's still alive, I don't like that. So let's go ahead, let's just throw some more freaking sticky bombs in there and apparently the sticky bombs can get stuck on you and let's just do that. And boom, make crater. Did it die? Please tell me it died. Yes, we got it, guys. We got the brown sheep. It is dead. So let's just blow up this building. Boom. All right. And that's it for the detonator and the sticky bombs, guys. So the next thing that we are going to make, guys, is probably the coolest item that we have right now. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make the flamethrower for you guys. So the way you make the flamethrower is you take a, a flint and steel, you throw it on the ground, and then a blaze rod, and you throw it right on top, and up pops a flamethrower. I almost totally butchered that sentence, I'm sorry. Okay, so the way that you use this flamethrower is you, one, you're going to put it in your offhand. It's always going to go in your offhand, and uh, yeah, it'll only work in your offhand, just, just in case you're curious. Uh, but yeah, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take some coal or a block of coal like I have here, and you are going to throw it out in front of you. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to actually power the flamethrower. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. Let's hit Control Q. Uh, Q. There we go. All right. You cannot do it in a stack, apparently. I did not know this. But yeah, you take the coal block, you press Q, and it uh, basically gets fed into the flamethrower. Now we're going to get, you know, into the good stuff. We're going to burn some crap, guys. All right. So we're going to go over here. 
and uh, we're going to test this baby out. Now, the way it works is it burns pretty much everything. Entities, uh, actual blocks, as you can see right there, we're going to be testing it out over there here in a second. And it can kill mobs. So, the way you activate it is you hold shift. And, yep, yeah, it will automatically set the chickens on fire. And, you know, we don't like the chickens. They're all spies. You know they're all spies. So, we're just going to we're gonna burn them all. We're going to get us some uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken right here. It's going to be delicious. Very, very delicious. All right. So, again, to, uh, to make this uh, flame on, you're going to hit Shift. And, literally, what it's going to do is it's going to send that line of uh, flames out in front of you. And it's just going to go until you stop. Also, it does push you back a little bit. I just want you guys to know that here. I am not holding down S, I'm holding, only holding down Shift right now. And uh, also something he pointed out is you can do this and look at that. You can just have flames all around you and you know you can have some very good protection from players and stuff, you know, if you're on a server. This does work on a server, by the way. And uh, yeah, if you're on any so sort of like a server or multiplayer thing, then yeah, you can have some good defense with that. Or if you're just in survival and you're like surrounded by a bunch of creepers, you can just go whoosh, whoosh, and then... Uh, Bye bye creepers. Okay, so this also burns blocks like I previously mentioned. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set the jungle on fire. So, Ant Venom, Ant Venom, you will eat your heart out. Alright, eat your heart out, Ant Venom. Just wait, wait until it catches. Alright, so if you guys don't know, Ant Venom, a little while ago, tried burning down a jungle with some flint and steel. But I'm going to do it. With only the best thing in Minecraft, the flamethrower, you know, because you know, the flamethrower is pretty awesome. So we're just going to set set the jungle ablaze here. We're just going to gonna make sure to, you know, make everything nice and crispy in here. Oh, man. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. It, it's it's just... Look at it. Oh, yes, it's beautiful. It is, it is beautiful, yes. Oh, man, look at that. The jungle is going up in flames. All right. So, you know, I just decided to have a little fun with that. So that is the flamethrower. That's basically all it does is it throws flames, as you would imagine. And it is powered by coal or blocks of coal. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the flamethrower. Now, we do have a couple more items on this list. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get to that. But uh, yeah, we will come back and visit this at the end of the video and see if it's spread any further than this. So, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and we're also going to take that out of our hand. Because that would be bad if I was, you know, playing around with this stuff and it got caught on fire. That, that would just be no bueno. So, I'm going to show you guys the last two items. So, this fourth item we have here is called the Land Mine. And oh my goodness, guys, this is going to be so much fun to play around with. So, you need a piece of TNT and a tripwire hook. And you will get this thing. It, it will name itself a mine. And yeah... So the coolest thing about this is, hold on, let me go ahead, let me get some sand. All right. So the cool thing about this is, you know, you spawn it, you know, it's all it's all good. It looks like a, a pressure plate and a button. If you can't see that, that's what it is. So it looks like that normally, but that's not the cool thing, you know. The cool thing is he made it uh, able to be put a block below the surface. So if I put it there, if I put the mine there and then put the sand over top and I walk over, boom, it explodes, you know, just like you would imagine a landmine would. And uh, also, if you place it on the surface, same thing happens. You get another landmine explosion. Uh, but you cannot put this down two blocks under like I almost did. So if, if I go ahead and place that there, and I place sand on top of it and walk over it, it's not going to go off. So it only goes uh, one block under or on the surface. And uh, yeah. Also, if you accidentally place one down like a herp to derp and you're sitting there like, oh, I do not know how to get this this thing off. What you're going to do is you're going to break the block underneath. And there you go. You get your mine back. And yeah, that that's it for the mines, guys. It's it's a pretty cool thing to play around with, especially especially on a server that would be just this would be probably the best trolling item ever. Just make a whole like minefield. That would be pretty sick. But yeah, that is it for the landmines. So guys, the last of these items, but it's definitely not the least of these items, is going to be probably one of the most bizarre ones, but it's definitely probably going to be one of the funnest ones to play around with. So, we are going to go ahead and make a taser. Now, what you're going to need for the taser is you're going to need a fishing rod and 10 redstone blocks. So you're going to plop those on top of each other, and up is going to pop a taser. So, the cool thing about this is, is uh, the hook... 
as you can see, acts like sort of a a, a taser barb, if you guys know what that is. No, the, a taser, what it does is it shoots out two barbs, and what it does is it sends electrical pulses between those two barbs. That's how a, that's how a taser works. So, instead of two barbs, it has a fishing hook, and, you know, it makes, it makes sense. So the way you're going to use it, just like an actual, uh, not stun gun, but an actual taser, is you're going to hook whatever you want, and it's going to freak out, and if you don't take it off uh, soon enough, it's going to die. Now you can do this to really anything like, let's see, let's see, let's, uh, let's tase this villager. Alright, bud, stop in the name of the law! You are under arrest for stealing the books from the Natural History Museum. And, um, uh, yeah, he, he, he did. Yeah, you can basically do this on any sort of mob, entity, anything. But you can also do it to other players and yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put myself in game mode. Hold on. Game mode, uh, not one, it is zero, you freaking noob. Alright, so what you're gonna do if you want to tase yourself for some reason, you're going to just like toss it on the ground there and you're gonna go up to it and you're going to start taking damage and tasing yourself basically. And I'm dead, I did not mean to kill myself. That was an accident. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick all that stuff up here and that is going to be it for the Modern Weapons 1 command creation by the Redstone Engineer. So yeah guys, if you do want to try this out for yourself, make sure to follow the steps in the video and also make sure to visit his channel and his website which will be in the link in the description below. And yeah, so let's see, this isn't, this hasn't burned all that much, it's a little disappointing. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's flame a little bit more. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't yet, hit that big ol' red subscribe button and also make sure to comment down below if you want more of this and I'll see you guys in the next video!